In this lesson, you will learn how to use a UFT developer script to run cross-browser testing. We will use IntelliJ to demonstrate this feature. In this IntelliJ Java project, I have already created a simple test uh, named test. And this is running on a Chrome browser. It opens uh, the online um, shopping.com app enters a username and password and then clicks on login and after five seconds it closes the browser so basically currently this script is uh, this test is currently running on um, chrome it is based on the application models yeah? so all the objects used in the scripts are centrally managed and i would like to run this in uh, with multiple browsers so one option would be to either directly copy everything yeah, so I could say I copy it here and uh, enter a new name here and another one. So I have three methods now with the same name more or less. And what I can do is so you can see here, these are representing my three tests. So the first thing what I would like to do is I say this is Chrome. Okay. Here we have Firefox. And the last one, let's say it's uh, Chromium. Edge. And then the easiest way would be really to go here and say this is then the browser type is Firefox, which is launched. And also here, the um, browser type is Chromium Edge or Edge Chromium in this case. And this would be basically enough uh, from the point as I'm using here test objects in the application models. Uh, in case they change, I just need to change it here centrally one time. They will be updated in all test cases where those are used. But if the test flow itself changes, then I need to adapt. So it is better for me to say, okay, I will, um, I will copy this into a new function and then uh, use uh, reuse the function. Yeah? So basically what I will do now is I will Say this is uh, public void. Let's say public void. And this is my main test function. And here I will have an um, input parameter called browser type. And this will be p browser type, parameter browser type. That should be it. And it should go. The general, uh, I'll copy it directly here. Good. And here I have now created this function. And basically what I will do, I will copy it now again because the other one failed to copy. Okay. And here in this area, I will use my browser type and the rest I think I can leave as it is. And this function, this main test function, I can now use here in this test and say I would like to run it with a browser type dot. Uh, the first one is for Chromium Edge, so Edge Chromium. And here at the end, I would close it and I could basically copy and remove it to the right browser type to make my script. Work. So let's do that. So you can see here I'm calling this function, which is a main uh, void, and this is being, I think I need to do it private. Yeah. So it is then being used here. Okay, and I guess we are good. What is here happening? No, I don't I want this to be always this value because I'm passing it across here so this should be fine okay here i just need to change as well this was exactly what it was mentioning here i need to provide firefox and now i have three test cases which i could basically run and say i would like to run the whole thing run test using am and now it should load here in the j unit three test cases and executing one by one after each other. So 
So this is a very simple way to utilize the different browser types uh, using UFT developer and uh, run them as part of one single script after each other. There's another possibility to run it in parallel, but this will be discussed in a, a separate session. So the first one is here, in this case, Chromium, which has been started. And so I can see it's uh, the Chromium browser. The username and password is entered. It waits. Then it comes to Firefox. Uh, here. This is the Firefox browser. And now it will open and run the Chrome browser. And simply uh, with this approach, I have created three different test cases using one test flow and one object uh, model for the application under test uh, using the application models. So it's a simple way of uh, creating multiple tests um, and also in the test documentation during the last run results, it will show me exactly these three tests which are provided here. I have uh, here the possibility to view them all in one central place. 